Now, revenue recognition principle behind that joining is recognition. Revenue recognition principle guides accountants to re uh, when to record the transaction and what value to record in journal entries. So this again goes back to some of the concepts that we readily talked about in the beginning of today's lecture and last week in chapter two. Basically what it means is that for any type of transaction that relates to revenue, again, it's always recorded on the date that the responsibility from the corporation side is fulfilled. The inventory, the goods, the products is delivered to customer with a type of service that you signed related to the contract that you signed with your client is already fulfilled for certain weeks or for certain months. Once the corporation's responsibility is done, that's the time when the revenue is recorded. Okay, so when revenue is earned, it means when service is provided, when the product is delivered to customer, that date the transaction will be captured. When company has completed certain types of agreement that they um, promise with that they discussed and they signed with their clients and customers. Now in terms of the amount, it always goes back to some of these source documents that, relate, that relates to that business activity. Remember the sales agreement, the contract, source document relates to all different types of documents that can back up that transaction. Okay, so for revenue, it would be sales invoice, could be the check that you received from customer. The dollar amount that relates to that sales agreement, that sales contract, is the amount that we should be recording. So remember the cost principle again. Even though later on, if this product has a different market value, we don't go back to change the amount that we recorded earlier because this is the amount that you actually collected from customer that day. So that will be the amount that you record in the transaction. Okay, so a few months later, a week later, if the, fair, the market value for that product changes, even though it's identical product, we don't go back to change the number we recorded earlier. So the value is always based upon that source document that happened before, that we have before for this transaction.